I came because I need to make another giant step for my business. I made one a year ago, I've been shuffling along, forward moving, and I need to know something that's going to happen big for now. how much I learned so anything that I can absorb hopefully I will. I just hope to improve my social media skills there's so many different channels I want to learn a few more and just take uh, what I do to the next level. Well last year I came as a participant and was so jazzed this year I decided to come and take some photos. There's so many things I just got out of this last couple hours of the summit um, one of them was um, how you can effectively reach your contacts via email and not being so formal but really connect with your target uh, on a more personal level. My head is swimming with ideas so I don't know which one it's going to be but it's like I, I feel like I'm a, either a sponge or a siphon or something and getting all of these amazing possibilities. Sometimes we forget about, like we get stuck in the business aspect and forget about the fun part of it, so this is perfect. We're in such a insulated bubble behind a desk, trying to be social, putting out content, and I find when you get to an event like this and you're surrounded by other people and great ideas, you start to have epiphanies to use their, uh, their company brand um, towards your own business, like the ideas just start to flow. My name is Lonnie Boyvon. And I'm Alan Boyvon. Hi, thank you very much for coming to the AHA Social Business Summit and uh, in some cases coming back. Don't be afraid to, to be creative and try new things even if you're in a box. I work for a large organization and we kind of have to be in a branded little box but I, watching uh, Ryan O'Hara's uh, talk you realize you don't. <laughs> you can be anything you want to be. Always make sure that you keep promises. Other than Ryan, who I have an aha moment with every day, you know, we get together at work and concoct crazy schemes, so, so we have those on a weekly basis, I'd say. But um, I just got to see Carissa speak from Constant Contact. Bottom line is that we have to care about those people who we want money from. We have to she made a great point that, that social media, email, all these digital ways of communicating are just an extension of word of mouth, and I think that's, you know, really what gets at the heart of what the conversation should be and how we should talk to to potential customers to users out there because that's that's what it's all about and she ended with a great quote that i think really uh you know gets also to the heart of what we try to do which is you have to care about the people you're asking for money from because if it comes down to it if you don't understand those people or you really don't care about those people that comes through in your marketing and, and i think it's about just making marketing human again. That's kind of my aha moment from today. This is so much more than I anticipated. I'm just... <laughs> I've been feeling really guilty because I've been procrastinating, contacting retailers and reaching out to new brick and mortar stores. And then I just watched Ryan's presentation and I thought this is where procrastination is, is the entry into the road of possibility because now I have this fantastic inspiration to carry with me as I reach out to all these stores that I've been feeling nervous about talking to and feeling like maybe maybe they don't want right back and now I've got this this really cool idea. So that's that's been awesome and just the energy in the room and and um, the idea of putting myself out there and putting myself outside of my box is fabulous. It's making me think about uh, a lot of different videos that I want to do when I get back to the office and um, definitely, definitely different stuff that I've like shied away from before. So um, to get the meaningful one view on the internet and not a million views. I'm not too full, but I feel like I'm expanding with all of this information. I kind of hope I don't get to the point where it explodes and gets messy. And we're going to ask you to introduce yourself very briefly. And if you feel comfortable with it, share what that intention is.